So welcome back everyone. Sorry for the uh, brief delay we had there. But um, you know the old sod's law if anything can happen, will happen. Um, yeah, so our fan breaks. A little bit of a, an issue with the eight ball and the yellow on the right hand side there, but yeah, not the nicest split and not no. the uh, not the most obvious options to deal with it just yet. No, that's right, that's right. There's no clear breaking ball to get that eight ball and the yellow separate, but... Mm. Yeah, you'd almost mm. feel yeah. like um, mm. red would, would probably mm. be the option mm. if it wasn't for the fact that uh, mm. oh, there wasn't an easy it. red on. That's right. So with that middle pocket one there, then this would be an ideal little flick shot. To sort of trace of trace of screw on the right hand side it'll just flick nicely into that yellow push the eight ball down table but unfortunately the bounce point is uh, going to drop the ball into the ice cream pot correct yes yeah. people won't know what I'm talking about there but we uh, we have no <laughs> mechanism on the side of this table at the moment and the balls are dropping into a a modified collection unit yes a receptacle yes yeah. well, in Blackpool, you always find ice cream akin to the way they used to uh, yeah. open the, the pool table up in the pub when I played in there 30 years exactly, ago exactly exactly oh 30 years ago yeah. I've had this the last 10 years take the tray out that's right put a, put a little bucket in to catch the balls yeah. and there's your free play tip them out on the table yeah. that's it yeah. yeah beach stuff in newspapers around <laughs> the pockets doesn't it <laughs> yeah. so double on Yes, that was the alternative, yeah, wasn't it? Having yeah. to catch the balls every time someone's going to pop so one. Quick, quick. Oh, missed one. Right, OK. We'll, <laughs> we'll play with six reds and six yellows. So we'll just take a yellow away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keep going. You get half a dozen frames before you run out of, run out of playing balls. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So, mm. as you alluded, Arson has left himself the double. A bit mm. tricky to control the cue ball here. He might have to push through mm. and put the eight on the on the yeah. cushion. Yeah. yeah. I was just trying to screw out of it. That's just well played. Well played. Tough. <clears throat> Tough. He's got the uh, he's got a choice of two yellows. Obviously, the middle one is the one he can't play with this. But uh, yeah, I think he's got to play the bottom mm. or the one to, f to the far right. right of the three because um, yes. there's no position available mm. on the other one. That's right. This one just a trace of left hand side. Yeah, and he's miscued yes, it. Yes, he did. Um, he certainly did. It was one of those little yeah. jabby ones mm. where you, you had to get enough yeah. spin on yeah. the cue ball to, yeah. to beat mm. the cue ball going in off. So I think that was fine enough for him to be able to avoid the corner pocket by letting the white ball hit the bottom cushion first. I mean, he, he could have cut that one in, the trace the left-hand side and gone bottom cushion, side cushion between the uh, eight ball and the red for the, the left yellow straight into the bottom left. Yeah, potentially. Yeah. Mm. I think it's one of those scenarios mm. where if you've got um, all the time in the world, yes. you yeah. would stand there and work it out. Yes, and a little bit deeper into the match when you, your cue arms sort of kind of loosened up. Exactly. Oh, mm. yeah, he's been done by pace there. Big shot to take on. Mm. Mm. Certainly was. So, this is not quite straight enough. If that, that cue ball had been probably three or four inches down towards towards his name he could have run that through but now he's mm. yes, yeah he's tried to get on the yellow in mm. the middle there hasn't he yes he has looks like he's still going to have to play it unless he yeah. wants to play, play a double play the double I think the double might be the might be the, the, the good shout here was he going to try and play this off the red maybe no, the double would be the shout tough oh, he's cutting he's this got, he? he's, got, uh, he's got to play it softly oh, hasn't he yeah he has yeah, that's the, you just yeah, played tricky. it a little bit too firm and it squared up on him. So, yeah, so often yeah. I'd be a bit disappointed mm. with himself. I mean, the first opportunity mm. he had wasn't necessarily the best opportunity, so he could probably yes. forgive himself mm. for that. <coughs> but yeah. Yeah. having got back to the table, mm. I think he'll be really disappointed that he hasn't uh, mm. taken a chance there. Yes, yeah. So, Jack's got options here. He can play the loss of turn and yes. snooker yes. Arfan. Yep. Um, or. The mm. second option, which mm. is much more like Jack, is to be aggressive and... Uh, take him out, yeah. Yeah, take him out. Yeah. I mean, he could, he could easily kind of leave the, leave the cue ball where that, that red is up in, up in bulk and, uh, and snooker. He's gone for it, yeah. Mika could just run up to that one and, and left, left the snooker on both balls. Yeah, I think he's tried to dye the white ball a little bit there and leave himself on the red right centre. Yes, yeah. Now... He hasn't necessarily got the loss of turn shot because mm. if he played the yeah. red to the right of the two at the bottom, yeah. he'd be screwing into the other one. So, yes, 
left himself in a little bit of a spot here. He certainly has. See, so you, you back himself always, Jack. I mean, most players would have perhaps just nudged that one and, uh, and said to our fan, go for it. Yeah, but the, the thing is there, there's um, there's no value in playing the snooker. No. You're not gaining out of far, it. Too far into the frame. Yeah, yeah. There's absolutely nothing you can mm. gain out of it because uh, someone of our fan standard is it's probably hit. not going to leave you ball in hand, so you're only ever going to be in a worse <laughs> position yeah, sure. than you were. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's um he's in a position now mm -hmm. where he can play the loss of turn. Mm -hmm. He just needs to yeah he's just deciding where he needs to get the cue ball. That's right. Doesn't want to absolutely hit it, cream it, plum and skill shot it by accident. So he's made sure. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, that's fine. I think he's left half in a mm -hmm. a very thin double at best. Yeah, this is not easy because the white is definitely gonna be clipping the clipping the other red. Yeah. And where that red has mm. come at the bottom, he's mm. just left it difficult to go off the bottom cushion and mm. pot it as well. Oh, that's a, that's a horror story. Yeah, not very often you see players missing a, a straight ball like that, but I mean, I find he hit both of Jack's reds and not his own yellow. <laughs> the only boy he didn't hit was his own. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, see, Daisy. Our fan cannot believe his luck now. Yeah, so we might even bring you a break shot uh, overhead oh, camera oh, later on we? in the day. No. Oh. Well, we can have a look there. Oh, look at that. Perfect timing as well. <laughs> I've never timed a break well. <laughs> <laughs> so, back to the main camera. <laughs> look at that. I like that. Uh, yes. Yes, I feel like you've got control. Welcome to two commentators with a new toy, folks. That's right, yeah. Yeah. Give me a piece of paper, please. Turn over on both sides. I'm happy for hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, Get on well with my daughter. <laughs> I've never had a broke set out to me before. <laughs> She's only six. <laughs> <laughs> right, so here we go, Jack. <laughs> yeah, I do. Normally, I stay away from. <laughs> no, 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 Fair no, enough. No, no. Yeah, so. so again, hmm. neither colour set. Mm. Brilliant. Loss Looks like Jack's loss of turn in here. Yeah, yeah it's just, it just cleans it up for him, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's very nice, actually, that one. Yeah, again, yeah. he's mm. left half hand. Yeah. A cut up the rail or, mm. or a back double if he wants to be aggressive. Yep. He'll leave that yellow against the eight ball because that's only really hampering Jack. Yeah, I think the yellow yeah. does go yeah. in, the, in the bottom left corner. So that's right. If our fan can, mm -hmm. if he does want to be aggressive, if he can find yeah. an opening pot here, he has got a shot at these. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, this is. He, he could he could play the glance off double. I mean, and he's he's in. But yeah, no, he's just tying things up, playing with playing a long game. Yeah. yeah Clever shot from our fan. Yeah, yeah, and he's if he's left those as a plum plant mm -hmm. on his mm -hmm. yellow, then yep. he's still um, got he Jack in a bit of bother because he can still be aggressive if Jack um, yeah, exactly leaves him the opportunity. Mm. It's come out really nicely. I think Arvan's really kind of he's he's, he's pinched himself at the minute, really, because that he was he was two nil, he was two nil down for yeah. every. Oh, know. definitely. And um, yeah, to to be one all was a gift. You don't get many gifts from Jack. Nope. Twenty fifteen world champion in the uh, the other rule format that we don't talk about. <sighs> Ooh. See, that's amazing. Yeah, it shouldn't you know? go in, should it? No, that is, that is amazing. You know, that's brand more like a cocked hat than a rail run. Brand new cloths this weekend, yeah. folks. In case you needed reminding after right. that. Yeah, and there's no cloth anywhere near the pockets, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah, that was like I said, that's more of a cocked hat than a run rail. Yeah, I think um, mm. it's one of those scenarios because it, mm. obviously it's brand new cloth and the mm. balls are cleaned first thing in the morning, aren't they? Yes, yeah. So there's a lot of shine on these balls at the moment. I think as the day goes on, mm -hmm. that might not drop because the balls get slightly more dirty. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I think his referees have got have got gloves on all the way through and they're, they're picking the balls up. Correct. All yeah. the time. And Out of the bucket. That's right, yeah. That's right. Oh. So... Here's the shot the one then. to the left, play the one to the left and just 
try and just soft cal on the yellow. Yep. The last time he went into the eight ball, it didn't go so well for him. No, that's right. Oh, that's not come out great. No. No. I must admit, I thought, again, I thought he was yeah. going to screw into that one. Yes. Yeah, he would be more in control of it and he'd be hitting it from the correct side. Yeah. Allowing it off the back cushion. It, all he had to do was widen off that angle. Especially, play, he played it with running side as well, which is strange. Yeah, I mean, mm. I know the way he's played it. Mm. There's a, he's guaranteeing to push the eight ball out yeah, into a yes. good position. Yeah. But yes. I think if you screw into it, you're guaranteed to be on the red, which is, yeah. I think, the main port of the shot, yeah. isn't it? Oh, he's juiced this one up a lot. Too much. Uh, oh. Yeah, he's uh, not going to be happy with that. That's yeah. uh, that's Jack behind in the match, for all intents and purposes. Yeah, and this will settle our fan mm. down as yes. well because yeah. he's won all, but he yeah. hasn't actually made a clearance to win a that's frame right. yet. So. That's right. And it's, he's come to the table, and his first shot is the one where he's got the challenge. Correct. It's just make sure he has position on his next ball. Yeah. Once he's got his, like I said, these are all out in the open. Nothing within three feet of another ball just to give him all the space he needs. Yeah, just a nice little set there for him. Yeah, yeah. And Jack will be wondering how he's not 3 nil up. That's right. Exactly. A little bit, a little bit scruffy. Yeah. Still just back up to swap roll, the sides. Yeah, that's right. There we go. So if he's dead straight, mm. screw back yeah. for the uh, eight in the left corner. Yeah. And if he goes too far, he's got it in the centre. Yes, he's got enough on that one he can get across. That's lovely. It is, it is. So, Jack sat in his chair thinking, how am I down? Okay. So, let's see these. Our oh, friend breaking from the side, but he's going to hit that front ball. Oh, he's gone in the middle bag. To be yeah. fair, he flirted yeah. with it last time, didn't he? He did, he did. To wait till he come to rest. Yeah, he's, um, he did. There we go. Don't go. Attack. They're going to drop out there. The spare cue ball is in yeah. play. Yes. And Robin's retrieved the mm. other one. Yeah, so... You see, this is uh, one of the things with Ultimate Pool. We have two cue balls on every table. Um, they lag with them at the start, which we very rarely show in, in matches. We tend to tend to join the join the match on the first player's break. So, but the lag before the match is done with two spotted white balls, and the referee keeps one in his pocket all times for speed of play. Correct, because uh, the player coming to the table after mm. the opponent has made a foul is mm. instantly on the clock. So exactly. as soon as they're given the cue ball, the clock starts. Yes. Yep. That's right, which is fair. Which is which fair. Which is fair, because they don't get the extra few seconds thinking yeah, time while the referee right. retrieves the few ball. Yeah, that's right, which is something that gives you that advantage. It makes you know, the whole purpose of uh, playing a shot clock in this is to add another dimension. Correct. To create a little bit of a additional pressure. Few and experience. <laughs> <laughs> like to see these top players screw them. Yep. Especially when on a microphone. Yes. Hey, Chris. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Tune in at about one o'clock today on this table to see me squirming yes. on the shot clock. Yeah, there you go. Got a little bit much into that one. Yeah, I think he obviously mm. wanted to be mm. make sure he was definitely high on it. Yes, Just yeah. Low was a, a bit of a killer for him. Yeah. I think the red, the yellow that's um, just above the red ball at yeah. the bottom of the table only yeah. goes into the right corner. I don't yeah. think it goes left corner, so. It goes left centre, but yeah, exactly. It's no good for him. Yeah. For the last ball. Yeah, so, so it looks like the middle, middle pocket is last yeah. ball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So again, just got to make sure he lands high. No, he's usually playing middle pocket now, I think. Okay. Yeah, play it now, and, and if if he finishes where he is now, with the cue ball, which I think is what he's going to try to do, would be perfect. Okay. Yeah, this is just a drop in. He ain't got to do anything with the white. As long as he gets a pot and angle, just run it through. Let the cue ball land bottom rail, and just run the run the eight ball along. Oh, is he going to screw side cushion? Yeah. Yeah. 
So this is uh, just what the doctor ordered. Yeah, just what yes. Jack needed. Yes. <laughs> no, it's, it's just so you can slide the rack off the front and not, not affect the ball. So what you'll see here is that hinge at the top is set. So they'll bend the arms out a little bit to get them away, move it forward. Smart rack. There we go. Very smart. Yeah, so Jack to break. Do you want the error of you on this? He'll go down the middle and smash it. So Well, we might as well. Yeah, we've so got it, haven't we? Yeah, we've got it. Let's, let's see how... We've got so it. Let's Jack, use it. The energy Jack let's transfer see how straight, is. straight Jack's yeah. cue is. One of the biggest breaks in the game. This is... Beautiful. Yeah, I was looking at um, his right foot then and how the cue was tracking over his right foot. Yeah. And he's timed that so well. He's hit it hard. And that cue has just not varied mm. one mil from that... It, it was straight down the line. Mm. It actually didn't go far as far through mm. as I thought it would. Mm. He stops, um, his follow through is, is actually yes. stops sort of six or eight yeah. inches past the line. That's right, that's right. But very often when you see players <coughs> put so much into it, as there's a cue through, you see the shoulders square up to, to the table. Yeah. Uh, you see that right shoulder come through and then you'll see the see the cue go out. So it, most players you see that cue go off the outside of the right foot and then across it back in. Get a rounded action, but no, Jack has obviously honed his skill to perfection. Kept that, kept that right arm square, delivered the cue perfectly square through the ball. None of that amateur Judd Trump come across the road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. None of that diagonal cue no, in with Jack. No, no, he doesn't. He doesn't do the Selby shuffle through the back, does he? No, no. No, he's been rewarded though again yep. with a good chance. Yes, yes does need to mind his work though. Doesn't have to develop the eight ball, so there's no fear of uh, gifting our fan any. So he's used extension already and almost took the time out on that one, so. Yeah, so <coughs> looks like he's gonna try and um, come twice across. Yep, so try don't to run inside. Get, don't think he can get behind this yellow, no, so. No, as long as he sort of lands right around bolt line on the right side. Right, oh, just inside. Hit it. Yeah, he's inside there. That curve off the first mm. cushion just took all the pace out of the white. Yeah. If he had just played just a trace of right hand side, let the banks take naturally, hit the roundabout bolt line, that would come back across perfectly. But no, he's yeah. going to have to do a bit of up and it's down. It's actually the, the top spin that's yeah. done him there, yes, isn't it? Yes, it has. Because it's uh, yep. with the new mm. cushions and yep. the new cloth and the shiny balls, yes. yeah. it's actually mm. the cue ball has top yeah. spin on it, yes. but when it's hit the cushion, it's yep. changed it into um, backspin. Yes, it has. Oh, it's no good. <coughs> no good. So, yep. at least there's a problem of the yellow on the right-hand side and potentially yep. the eight ball for our fan. Yes. If he could just drop this, drop this left centre. I know, it's, I know it's a bit of a, a crazy one, but hey, hear me out here. Okay. He could drop it left centre, then he could, he could cut the cut the yellow nearest the blue spot into the right centre, go bolt cushion into the one on the right. It's an option. It's an, an option. Yeah. Bit of a crazy one, but hey, <laughs> that's why I've got a microphone around and not a cue. Yeah. Nah, see, it's not going to do that at all. No, no. That's he didn't a no. see it. Did that's he? a no. He didn't see it. He didn't see it. No, he hasn't got the vision. No, that's right. No. Lucky for him, he hasn't got my vision. <laughs> <laughs> he's got. He's got the angle to come off it now, and he's got his. So he can play the yellow pocket into it, and he's got. Yeah, I mean, he could yeah. play the, the yellow at the top of the table. Um, yeah. And if he plays at the touch of right-hand yeah. side, he can go into the red and actually nudge the red mm. out of the way. And he's going to be on the other yellow mm. to the middle. Yeah. Um, but again... See, he's just stymied himself almost. But, uh, yeah. I'm not 100% sure he's worked out how he's going to deal with that yellow yet, to be honest. No, he's I'd just sort of running out of time while he's thinking about it. Yeah. I would, I would, I would probably suggest do what you just said. I mean play this left centre now, run through a bit. Having only the one yellow down the bottom half of the table, he could then try and run through and give himself that shot again. No, he's going to leave himself the double. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. I mean, if he's got, if he's straight enough on this yellow, yeah. he could top it through and yeah. play the other yellow at the top of the table yeah. off the red to yes. get it out of the way. But yes. it doesn't look like he's straight enough. That's right. But once again, he's only got one of the ball to try and track onto that side yeah. one. So toughy. Yeah, and he doesn't want to play this ball at the bottom of the table because that would have been the one that's got yeah. the natural angle to get on the eight ball. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, he's used his extension. So he has. Yeah, he's just played yeah, see, himself. That may well have helped him. That extension. He he could try and develop off of this off this bolt line one. 
Yeah. yeah. He's looking at the angles, <clears throat> ain't, is he? Yeah, he has played himself into a tad bit of trouble here. Yeah. He just they just finished just finished the game on table two, and we're still two. All. Yeah. No, no mechanism problems no. on the other table though. No. There you go. Our fans just got a little bit of grab on that one. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, and unfortunately, it's all come from um, mm. indecision. He, he yes. never, never decided what he was going to do no. with the ball on no. the right hand side, and no. um, unfortunately, it's cost him. Yes, it has. That's the big thing I've found playing on the shot clock yes. um, over over the last couple yep. of years, really. It's um, if you're practicing and you've got all the time in the world, yep. you'll come up with a way to get that ball out. Yep. You'll, you'll you find will. the angle and yeah. you'll, you'll work yeah. it out. <coughs> yes, yeah. Excuse me. When you're on the shot clock, yeah. for me, yeah. look at it, find a way to get it yeah. ball out, whether yeah. it's right or wrong, yes. and try and do it as soon yeah. as you possibly oh, can. Oh, he's not happy there. Oh, he'll be fine. He's yeah, got plenty he of angle. Didn't, yeah, he was, he, as soon as he hit it, he was thinking, oh... Just the way the white checked off of that red. Didn't want to be straight here, but he could, yeah, he can just punch his own now. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you're right. It's that you, you're on the shot clock. You just, you just find a way to. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, just revert to muscle memory experience. So let's have a little aerial view of our fan. Yeah. Hopefully, try to avoid this centre bag. Yeah. Or right. bet the white goes across the right hand side of the table. Oh. Oh, stay. Oh. Stay. You track pretty central then. So. Yep, and it's the best one he's hit. In fairness, it is, so it is. he's got a little yeah. bit of a right to yeah. be disappointed that it's dry. Jack's got a gap to the yellow in bulk. Um, he's just if you can get to the yellow down the bottom of your screen as well. Yeah, because so the yellows look very nice there. The yellow that he's closest to yeah. looks like the most awkward ball. So yes. if he can see this one at the bottom, he mm. would just he just. Uh, Pop it in and crack on, but yeah. So, just bring the white back. Just come across that bit. So, so his, his, his thoughts now are: the angle he's got on the ball to the middle is going to take him out of the top half of the table. And how is he going to link up to that ball up in up near the ball line? He might just drop it in. Yeah. To be fair, and leave the angle. Yeah. Now he is coming down. Yep. Yeah. Ideally, if, if this is quite straight, if you could top through and then come off cushion and just soft nudge, uh, soft nudge eight ball towards his hand from there. Like he's trying to screw into the red. Yeah, yeah. So just move it out of the way. Yeah, yeah. If he'd caught the other, the other side of that red, that'd be perfect. Then he'd have been plumb for a drop in yellow to the right centre. Still, it's just a drop in. His, his main problem here is that yellow up bulk. Yep. Which we've got for now. Exactly, yep. So, stunned with the trace of right hand side off this yellow to the bottom corner. Just missing the yellow just up from it. Track up the right side, of the, up the left side of the table for that yellow up near the, near the brain spot. There we go, that right hand side just brought it up there. It's a little bit straight, but he's got the gap between those two reds to play this last yellow, which he's looking at the sight line of now. Is it straight though? Can we have an overhead view of that? We can and have see? a little overhead. I think look. it looks off straight One, to two, me. One, two, three, poof. Yeah, it's not, it's yeah, slightly off straight, isn't slightly it? Slightly off. So he's got, I think yeah. he might have to screw off the side cushion and try and get in between yep. the so gap, potentially. Let's have a look. No, or he's, he's topping it. Top yeah, it he's just going to bolt cush it through. There we go. There we go. Yep. That's, that's nice. So we played very much the same sort of shot here. He won't want to play his dead weight because of the distance between the uh, cue ball and the object ball. So, he'll either stun it across for the eight ball into the left centre. There you go. Nice shot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not too hampered, so he'll be fine that's here. Right. I mean, that's a shot that a lot of, uh, lot of amateur players and pub players tend to, tend to mess up. They'll have tried to dolly run that one in to leave the eight ball to the right centre. Yeah. Uh, which is correct, in fairness. Yeah, exactly. but, yeah. yeah. but it's, it's, it's your cure, isn't it? It's getting your cure. Yeah. And it's, it helps you in, in, in keeping that, the eye keen, the eye sort of fresh for looking for shots, overcoming the, the, the every single time you've got a different problem, no matter what. 
Yeah. But more than that, it's just it's good fun. It's Declan just walking through. Good old Dick. Get, get in the bath, he said. Yes, that was brilliant. <laughs> yeah, filthy animal. That's right. At least he didn't have a six red shootout, I suppose. Is the one good That's thing. That's true, yeah. He's Oh, he's Mr. 15 second, man. And that's not a bad thing in pool. <laughs> no. In other walks of life, maybe. Well, there you go. So. Chance for our fan on the reds. That's right. That's Is right. he going to be able to break this red out at the top now? He's yeah. got the angle. Mm. Yeah, he's, he's uh, probably feels a bit, bit stiff at his legs. Haven't been sat down for the last three frames. Went from 2-1 up to 4-2 down in the blink of an eye. Good. That is a nice shot. Yeah, that's well played. Yeah, and that's his um, mm -hmm. difficult red out of the way, believe it or not. Mm, that's right. We've got this one at the top of the table, yeah, but he's just about to nudge into away. it. <coughs> yeah, dealt with straight away. Yeah. And he'll just run the right centre and let the white sort of come back into bulk and across. Yeah, and that was yeah. the key to it, really, because he wanted to leave this ball at the bottom right as his last one to get on the eight ball in the centre. Most definitely. Yeah. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's multiple reasons why players choose certain patterns and certain routes to routes to completion of frames. But the, the, the main deciding factor is simplicity and, and oh, oh that is, dear. look how much that has rolled. It'd be lovely to get a replay on that from, from this view. But I guarantee you that's not the line he started that yet, that red on. No, but again, <laughs> he didn't, he, he could have landed a lot straighter on that oh, ball. Yes. He's, yeah, he he's had to play it at that yeah. pace yeah. because... Mm. Um, he's got a lot more angle than he wanted, so yeah. they're never nice shots to be able to play really slowly and cut along yeah. the rail. Yeah. Be interesting. There's a gap there big enough for the for the yellow to come in just off the back knuckle. So, But the key was to play it with the pace to get that red out of the way for the yellow. Yep. That was key. And so and Now he's lovely. Roll yeah. this one in, he's on Left the other the one able. to the middle, yep. and then that opens the frame up. Exactly. So this, the, the, the yellow to the right there we go so the third yellow from the left is the one you'll be playing to the to the center just opens up every ball now not the easiest ball to pot out of the, out of the four yellows left but it yeah, should be fine he'll just be running into that other yellow above the eight so ball I think yes yep. so yeah should be absolutely mm -hmm. fine there we go. Very nice. Very nice. So he's now looking at that yellow up table. He can how he can eat which when's he gonna get on it? Likelier to get on it next. There we go. Give us off a bit of angle just to track across. So ideally, cross the table twice. For the yellow above the above the eight ball. I think he's just going to oh, play the the, uh, the yellow below the yeah. eight ball next, and right. then just track round for the other yeah. yellow in the middle. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. Shouldn't cause an issue, but would have liked to be a few inches away from the cushion just to be able to control just the cue ball a bit better. Sure. Yeah. Oh, he's shorted off this one. Oh, that there is, you go. That's two frames that Jack has gifted our fan. Yeah, I'm real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see how it does happen yeah. every now and then, folks? Yes. It's just literally yeah. under hit yeah. the previous shot, which meant yeah. he couldn't put yeah. pace into the yeah. ball he wanted so to put in the middle and hold the cue ball for the eight ball so yes. had to dolly it in and um, made yeah. the, it's, it's the cardinal sin isn't it it certainly is and normally you can you can put the mistakes you see Jack Whelan make in a season on one hand yeah yeah oh, I love a cut break see our fans got a very very good cut break he does get explosion on them so there should be balls going around like a pinball there we go Look at that. Boof, boof, boof. Two reds, yellow. Definitely his best break of the day yeah. so far. Yeah. Two reds, yellow. 
Lovely split. Yeah. I can't see him moving away from that now if he That's wins right. this match. See, why didn't he do this from the start? I know how good Arfan's cup break is. He, he dished me three on a trot in, in Wales once. Uh, he beat me 6-2 and it literally he's just boof, boof, boof. Just, it's all sort of like five shot, five shot frames for him. Cut break, pop five balls and then four yellows and a black. So, not sure if this yellow goes mm. into the uh, mm. centre, the one that's closest to the reds. If it does, he'll be taking yellows. Mm -hmm. If not, might be the red balls. Yeah. I'll just play the, play the yellow off the red into the bottom centre. So let's have a little look from a proper view. Yeah, going to be the yellows. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that is messy. We just got slightly yeah. distracted in here, folks, as yeah. the, the backup yeah. commentary yeah. team have arrived That's in right. case yes. the first yeah. team go ill. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, a bit scruffy for I've had. Recovered nicely. Yeah, he has. Yeah. He's making sure here, isn't he? Jack sat waiting, waiting for that opportunity just to rise and destroy. Yeah, you can't no, see these no, going wrong. No. This is all Jack could do right now, sit there and show our fan that he's ready if he misses. You know, because what else can you do? Yeah, he would have wanted to be on the one in the centre first here, though. Yeah. Well, I, I, I don't know. If you could, if you could play this one and screw back to the, to the black spot, it was a slight angle in the centre. It's just a stun run up for the... Yeah, I mean, Egg. obviously he's going to be bit fine. Bit of angle, bit of angle. Yeah, but he, he would have wanted to play the simple oh, yes. one first. Yeah, he would. He would. Mm. Most definitely. So, yeah, our fan yeah. sort of muddling his way through clearances at the yeah. moment. Yes. Yeah. So, right, look how his cue is over his right toe. It is. Uh, have a look, just, just watch, there's no movement off of that toe. Let's see. Yeah. Amazing. That <laughs> yeah. No reward, don't. No, nothing went in. But hey, maybe you should look at the uh, Arfan Dad school of breaking. <sighs> Never think it's uh, by Jack Wheeler. But no, that the Jack he he will not move off that position. First glance, yeah. Reds don't look terrible. No, that's right. They look doable here. Yeah. yeah. But again, it's one of those finishes that needs yeah. a bit of care and attention. And yes. so far today, yeah. our fan has not had his cue no. ball under control. No, he hasn't. Yeah. Is he on this one or is he? I think he's on it to the centre, yeah. I don't yeah. think he wanted to be. I think he was no. playing for a choice no. of the two in the corner. Yeah, yeah. Jack, if I lose this match, if I lose this match... <laughs> Just, He'll uh, be trying not to think that, but I yeah. know, but I know, but it's it's one of those things that creeps in. If you do, tr you can't not. You can't how not, do you not think, think about somebody if you try not to think. Yeah, about you it? can't. Yeah, by definition, yeah. you're thinking about it, aren't you? Yeah. Whether it's if I say to everyone, yeah. don't don't think of an elephant right yeah. now. Yeah. Stop. You look at me when you say that. <laughs> <laughs> don't stop. I forgive you. Thank you. It's very you, kind. You, you know it's not what who you deal with. It's no. just an example <laughs> that's been in my head for uh, a number of years <laughs> since I heard yeah, it that's right. repeated by someone yeah. else. Yes, true. Mm. It's the uh, yeah. There's a reason for that. It's, it's the it's the subconscious mind governs your thought controls and it, it doesn't differentiate positive, negative, and all that. Yeah. Yeah. The more you tell yourself not to think of something, you can't stop thinking about it because by definition you are. Yep. And then it becomes part of your focus. Yes. Yeah. I have this thing of when I play, I think, don't be rubbish. <laughs> and I end up being rubbish, you see. So there you go. Point proven. Uh, <laughs> and no problem. I'll yes. think to myself, don't be brilliant later then. That's, that's, no, don't do that because no? it, it won't work then. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, you know you're doing it for a reason to try and kid yourself. Well, yeah. 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 Deep down, your psyche knows what your real intentions are. So leave it at that and focus yes. on the focus Unfortunately. On the yeah. yeah. It's when you think about it. depends which one of your personalities your psyche is talking to. That's the worry. 
Right, that's a nice little touch shot from our fan. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. I mean, I think he's going to have to play into the eight ball now, though. If, yeah, but if he comes into the eight ball, half ball, you know, he'll move that yellow to the right of it away, leave the leave the cue ball this side. He's just looking at how that cannon's got to be played. Yeah, it's just it's tricky to control yeah. the cue ball and the eight yeah. ball because uh, one or one or, no, or one or yeah. the other can end up behind the yellow plum. here. You land that plum here. Watch. There you go. That's it. Yeah, yeah. So. In as few words as possible, Chris. Mm. Explain to myself and all the viewers right now. Yeah. How is our fan dad winning this match so far? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> That's right. He's got a noodle pot. Balls, yeah? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So, so our fan's got a ball. Yep. Stick to the cut break. That's right. So. Would love reds yeah, if you can find reds. a pot on them. Yep. He would love reds, but. I think yellows are quite nice because if you can roll yellow to right center and get an angle on the one just below and left of the of the cue ball, he's got a breaker ball. I think it'd probably be the other yeah. one, the one yeah. the yeah. the yellow that's closest to the blue Is spot. Go double first. No, he's going to go red. I think he's cutting it in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think if you're going to take yellows, you roll the yellow into the right center. Yeah. Leave yeah. the cue ball there, and yeah. then the yellow closest to the blue spot. Yes. You pop that and screw back. Yes. Into the yellows because then you've got your your bare leg ball. Correct. Yeah. But he's. Six, he's five, his extension. He's so. just two. Yep. Well, yep. Right. You so because this is a it's a key frame, key frame. Yeah. Right. So he hasn't yeah. seen it. He's going to be go playing double. the double. Yeah. But the double works because <laughs> if he's straight on the double, he's got to play play off left side. You could just left side spin into the back cushion, flick those two yellows out. There you go. That's really well yeah, played. Really well, well played. Yeah, because you play the play, you can play these yellows right to left now. Go to bottom right corner, run through with the cue ball, and a bottom left corner land on the side cushion. Yeah. Next one, bottom left corner, draw the cue ball back a little bit, maybe six eight inches to the gap in the reds, and then go right center, left center. Still has got an issue with the eight ball Ooh, though. On this way, okay. Yeah, the eight ball. I think the eight ball. If he plays, if he leaves the left centre last, from from top yellow. Yeah, mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Top yellow, run through. Eight ball goes right centre. So let's have a look. Yes, go for it. There you go. See. Yes, I think it yeah, does. Yeah. I think it does, folks. Yeah. yeah. See, I've got the commentator's idiot eye. <laughs> Might have left himself a bit more angle than yeah, he wanted here, because yeah. it looks like he's going to be going into the reds. Mm. Yeah, he's going to flick off reds. Yeah, I think he's going to hit yeah. this a little bit harder mm. and try and flick into the first red, yeah. just to push the cue ball across, yeah. potentially. Yeah, yeah. So if he goes soft and tries to miss it, I think he can as the other red. Yes. So, yeah. That's, that's okay. That's okay, because he'll, he'll probably look to play this. Yeah, it just he could run it down through the gap. Run it down through the gap, it's going to come off the right knuckle. You think? Yeah, yeah. I think he's going to have to play up the top. Yeah, it will. It will go straight through the gap, and it will come in right, right. There we go. You're, you're dropping off the off the inside right knuckle. Just run dead weight. Oh, he's, oh, he's, he's flicked it. He's done oh, a jack. He's done it. Yeah. Same pocket. Done a jack. Cue ball in hand. The cloth's obviously a bit slower that side yes, of the table. Yes, yeah. Yeah. The right yeah, hand side yeah. of the table is quite quick. Yeah. Left hand side's a bit so slow. This is what you call a loss of turn shot. This is a skill shot, I think. Yeah. Skill shot with a loss of turn in mind. No, he didn't play a skill shot at all, though. He didn't I go think for he it. did, yeah. He did try to get that red in. I think he did. Because you, if you get it, you're, you're absolutely plumb on your other reds, aren't you? You've, you've got everything to gain. You reckon he tried to get that red in as well, the way he played that? I, th I think he's looking 100% on the... Well, perhaps yeah. he didn't, but I don't see why he wouldn't. <laughs> no, no, I don't see no, why no, he yeah, wouldn't. I've got you, I've got you, I've got you. I've got you. It just seemed a bit... Yeah. Because the chance he's got now hey. is just as good as yeah. the chance he would have had if he'd skill shot at the last one. Don't get me wrong. If you said to me earlier that I was going to leave a yellow short to that pocket, I'd have, I'd have laughed. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, ju it just it just didn't... I thought, I thought he, would, he would just run that red into yellow and then put the, put the cube on frozen into the into the back of the eight ball but that's the that's the thing yeah, you see yeah. if you're going to play that's why i think he yeah. played it as a yes. as a skill shot well, yeah, but yeah. he was getting well, position on his next ball and knowing he's leaving a snooker if he missed it so it's yeah, like a backup you. plan gotcha i won't argue if you're if you like you said if you're all in for the the yes. loss of turn you're yeah, going to hide that sure. cue ball oh, right, you're freezing it on you yeah 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 
Yes. But yeah, yeah, both players will be yeah. wondering how it's five all. That's right. That's right. And once again, this is just always the way. When you have a table or you have a technical issue or such and such, then you guarantee that game is going to be a decider with a six red shootout or something. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, there's going to be, what, eight and a half minutes left, right, yeah, five so all, so yeah, I don't think we're going to a six red unless there's no. a, a, a very big tactical frame in there somewhere. Right, yeah. yeah, definitely. Because definitely. Um, yeah. If, they've, if they've had the, the, the right thought process, yes. then yes. they're going to just be playing on instinct and yes. it's, it's probably going to benefit them. Yeah. Funny enough, ex last night, chatting to Sean, Sean Sharkey, he was saying exactly the same thing. He said, how the 50-second shot clock can actually punish you in terms of your opponent. You could be going through the motions and doing things really well and their problem could be their second guessing each, each time Yeah, and that could be what's causing them issues and then all of a sudden the 15 second shot clock can force that out of their game and yep. it can just bring them on make them have to make that snap first decision which which has been the right one all the way through correct mm. yep. nice on the double kiss there yeah would have been fine if it's skill shot in yes. fairness yes but yeah absolutely fine Jack hit those those brilliantly yeah um Again, no reward for him. That's right, and it could could yeah. well put our fan in a position where he's breaking for the match if this frame goes according to plan. So he's just taking his extension. Yeah, he's just deciding his pattern. They're all in twos, yeah. aren't they? Yes. There's the two they at are. the bottom of the table, yep. two the on two the on the left, and then and the, the other two. two so he's, he's just deciding. He's just oh. nicked that one, which has not helped. Yeah, I think he was just deciding yeah. how he wanted to get on yeah. the eight ball. Yes. So he's kind of forced his hand now. Yeah, he's playing for the, the two on the right-hand yeah. side of the table yeah. now. Yep, yeah. uh, he's played that very, very nicely. Yeah, a bit more angle than he wanted after the kiss on yeah. the yellow, though. Yeah, but this is a dead drop, but he's fine. Yeah. I'm well, not 100% sure, to be honest. Especially after yeah. a couple haven't reached earlier. Yeah. I'm yeah. not sure he'll want to be playing this yeah. as a... No, he's got it nicely. Yes. Yeah. No. Reverse this out. Can yeah? Can you get Bottom to right. the yeah. ball yeah. in the middle of the table yeah. in the middle pocket? Yeah. So screw this right hand side. He'll be looking to come side cushion and then and drop down below the one on the blue spot. I couldn't quite do it. So oh. stop, 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 stop. Yeah, he's good. Just yeah. So this is a this is a bit of bit of bottom on this one just to bounce off side cushion for the middle bag. Oh. Wow. So one good one good shot. Like Don't have to do anything with the cue ball. He can uh, he can just hit slightly below centre and just roll it down. This is this is a pace shot, just roll it at dead weight and it will go in. Cycles so reverse perfect. Yeah. And again his yes. heart just stopped when he thought mm. he might land behind the yellow. It did. He did the old Jack Whelan stuffed in his pace. So he's he's racked them perfectly. He has. So, our fan. How many balls? Three. Mm. One, middle, two, two three. three. <laughs> Good shout. I didn't know whether you were including the white in that or not. Well, the white's on table still, isn't it? It is. And uh, how do you fancy these? Well, looks like you can fancy yeah. either, either colour set. That's right. No, I mean, I mean that, that red mm. in the corner yep. to yep. nudge the yellow out the way, potentially, first yep. shot. Yep. So, yeah, the red in the spot. Yeah. Stunning. Yeah. But now he's, he's going, going yellows. yellows. He's going yellows. So should we stay overhead or? Why not? There you go. You can see the. That's it. Dot to dot. This yellow goes. Dot to the dot. No, you go in the middle. You got no. no it's, just, it's just got choices. Sometimes that can be your downfall, isn't it? Yeah. Too many choices. Too many decisions. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, he's lovely here. Yeah, he is. He is. <sighs> so let's let's go to the let's go to the main. So. Jack, I think Jack knows. He knows he's been playing the game long enough to realise. Yeah, this is the the only yeah. shot our fans got yeah. to play really. He yeah. needs to screw off the side cushion. That's right. Beat the red and the eight ball and get up. Yeah. yeah. For the yellow in the middle. I was going to flip a coin with you, right? But I will change my mind. I change my mind. That's. Didn't want to push that there, but it's quite simple. Three cushions around, play the eight ball in the same middle. Um, I was going to flip a coin with you, but I think no. Oh, poor Rank. You going to do the uh, after-match interview with Jack? <laughs> <laughs> no. 
Ooh. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. So, let's go aerial for this one. There you go, see it is. End of match. Yeah. Jack is... Gone happy. Right. So he's going to walk right through the comm box now. And he's probably going to I'm take the back of my I'm going to look down at the floor. Yeah. As he comes through.